Today we're taking a look at a weathered version of a lightsaber from a really loved character. So stick around. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John. Well, today we're taking a look at a Darth Maul lightsaber. Now, this is actually a weathered version, and this was sent over from the folks at End Sabers. It's always exciting to take a look at a different version of a lightsaber. Take uh, Luke, for instance. I have like five or six different versions, and same thing with Cal Kestis, and Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Darth Vader. Now, if any of you actually know what the prop looks like, it's actually not really that weathered. It was actually a, a resin cast, pretty much, um, and it's spray painted silver and had a little bit of weathering on it, but it's not very weathered. So if you want a screen accurate version, you might want to try to find a cleaner version and then put a little bit of weathering on it yourself. Now if you want a different variation of it, this one's really cool. Say for like my Luke lightsabers, I've got cleaner ones and dark ones and even darker, grimier ones. Same thing with Cal Kestis, I have a cleaner version and a really beat to hell version. I love these different variants. So now if you're new here, please drop down, hit that like button, subscribe and notification button for upcoming videos. And if you're returning, let's get into this unboxing. All right, so here we have it. We've got the Darth Maul weathered lightsaber. Now you can already see how kind of dirty and grimy it is. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it is really weathered. Now this is basically aluminum black and you've actually seen me weather lightsabers just like this before. This effect happens when you use the chemical aluminum black on just raw aluminum. And uh, you get this really kind of stained, tarnished look throughout the metal. So this is a really cool variation of it. I actually really like it. Now we do have one that is more of a screen replica. It's actually cast of resin and has the metal bar and everything uh, through it and washers at the top. But I gotta tell you, this is a darn close representation to that. Um, even if I wanted to take this and strip all this kind of aluminum black off, this is pretty damn close, I gotta say. These silver buttons are even slightly rounded, just like the actual replica is. So they actually did a really good job on this, and this really does look like the set of washers that are on the prop. So good job. It also comes with some extra black washers, a couple of extra little buttons there, some Allen screws and wrenches. And we have two USB cables, a plaque, and right here we have a full user manual. I do believe this is Profi, so if you don't know how to use Profi, you have a nice manual there. And of course we get a display stand, and when you put it together, it looks just like this. Now of course we get two blades. These are actually 7 8 blades. All right, let's take a look at this lightsaber because I want to show you a few things, especially how to use this little connector washer thing. Now this thing is in a bunch of parts. Uh, this top part is its own section here. This is its own section here. Uh, this is its own section here, and this is its own section, and this, and then that, and, you know, same thing. Um, so the chassis are in here. So let me show you how to get to the chassis. You can open up the top half, and we have our chassis right in there. Now this is a Profi, so you can see a Profi board here, your uh, USB-C plug for charging, and your battery right there. Now it's not an easy, uh, simple, removable chassis. It's kind of mounted in there. It looks like there's a screw on the back there that holds it on. And over here you have your power button and auxiliary button. Now obviously same thing over here on this side, we have our chassis, profi board there, USB-C charger and battery. Now what I wanna talk about is this little coupler in the middle and you may actually get this saber out of alignment. You'd see it kind of turns there, right? So what we have, let me take this off really quick so you can actually see this. Now here we actually have a little ring here and this basically is an adjustment ring and let's call it just a, a large timing shim, all right? Um, because that's pretty much what it is. It's to be able to set and clock the saber correctly so that everything aligns right. So you want all of these little knobs and nubbins and everything to be straight. So that's what this little ring here is for, is to adjust. So let's put this in. We'll get this side all the way screwed in. Now what we're gonna do is start screwing this together and try to get it as close to this ring as possible here. And then we're gonna start making some adjustments so that everything aligns correctly. All right, actually that worked out really well. So I might just back it up just literally a hair. So what's gonna happen is, is that if this ring is too far out of whack, 
it's not gonna line up correctly. So you're like, we, now we just passed it. So you do want to kind of get everything lined up. And I actually just had it perfect, so now I gotta go back and do it again. So that should be about right. Let's move the ring, back it up, move the ring. Back it up a little bit, move the ring. A little bit more, move the ring again. And basically what I'm doing, I'm screwing the ring in this direction so that uh, this won't go past alignment here. See how it, it's going past a little bit? We don't want it to go past. We want it to be aligned perfectly like that. So all it is is just move and adjust, move and adjust. See, so this is tight and this is still just a little bit past. So we're gonna move this back again and move the ring. There we go. Yep, that'll do it. See now everything is all nicely aligned here. And again, you can fine tune this little timing shim until your heart is content. It's a little bit of finagling, but you'll get it and you'll understand it after you do it once or twice. I'm like, oh, okay. It's just a ring that goes up and down and that will uh, adjust the alignment of all of this. Now, as I was putting the blade in, I wanted to mention something uh, because it's a little tough and it was a little confusing, but uh, only because I couldn't see where these things were. Now, the Allen screws, the retention screws, they're hidden between these little uh, washers or vents or anything. The original one from the movie prop is actually a bunch of washers, but those retention screws are actually in here. I think there's two on the top and maybe one in the bottom one here. So you have to find it. If you have a flashlight, it might actually help a little bit, uh, but uh, this is where they are. It's awesome because they're really hidden, but I almost at the same time wish it was kind of like right here, just so it was easy to get to. Uh, Cause uh, you know, I'm getting old, I'm going blind. So it's like, I kind of want to be able to see them better. So this is a profi and we got some cool lights around uh, the button areas over here. So really digging that. It does kind of bring this thing a little bit more to life. Now there is one thing I love to do with a Darth Maul lightsaber every time. And that's just the startup. Now, the one thing I noticed right off back, obviously, um, is that uh, the sound vents over here, if your hand is directly in the middle, you are covering the sound, so it does get kind of muffled. Now, you can hear the sound quality difference. But honestly, I don't know where else you would put sound vents, you know? It's like some little vents in here, or maybe over here on the grill somewhere, I don't know. Staffs, I think, are a little difficult. So while I'm here, I just want to make sure that the volume for each one of these are turned all the way up. And how we're going to do that is we're going to hit and hold the auxiliary for about a second. All right. And then volume up and volume down. All right. It looks like we're all the way at the top. Now you'll see the volume does change. You hear that. All right. And let's just go back all the way back up to the top there. All right. So when it hits that other sound, we have hit the top of the volume. So we're going to hold the auxiliary for about a second and we are set in. Now we have flash on clash, beautiful reactions with that. We have a fantastic smooth swing. Now we have your blast of blocks just by hitting the buttons. And then the cool thing about staffs is that you can pull them apart and use them as two separate lightsabers. Now, when they're separated like this, they obviously run as two separate lightsabers because it's two different profit boards. So you can have one in one font and one in a complete different font. So whatever it is you feel like doing with this, at this point, you can. Now, the one thing I've always loved about Darth Maul's lightsaber when you pull it apart to use for two, I just, I love the positioning of the curve here and the rings, cause you could put your hand right in there and it's just the most comfortable fit for your hand. All right, let's bounce through just a couple more fonts.
Got double dark sabers there, but yeah. Now you have a full color spectrum to fiddle around with. Uh, you just gotta flip that on. You're gonna hit the secondary button, the auxiliary, and the power. So auxiliary, power, you're gonna enter color mode, and you're just going to twist your saber. So you can make pretty much every blade, every color. All right, and when you find the color you want, you just auxiliary and power. Now the last quick tip I'll show you is changing the fonts. Um, again, you have to do it both sides separately because they are two different boards. And you're going to just hit your secondary button, your auxiliary right here. That'll go forward. And if you miss it, flip it upside down and hit your auxiliary again and it'll go back the other way. Simple as that. Now again, you have to do it on both sides. That is it, my friends. This is the Weather Darth Maul staff from N-Sabers. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And while you're down there, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button for upcoming videos. And if you're interested in this, I will put a direct link and discount code for you down in the description. I will see you all on the next video. Be safe and calm out there in the world. See ya.